Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Thursday. I know what you're thinking, what the heck are you doing here? posting a video on Thursday. Well, I couldn't wait to share the new news with you guys about the new WW programs coming out in just a couple of short weeks. I have received a ton of new information, verified information, so I'm here to share all of that with you today. So if you're excited to get all the 411, spilling the tea on the new programs, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Palmer is here to hang out with us for the video so that's pretty exciting too. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for my three recipe ebooks. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They all contain WW plan points for all plans as well as calories. I will be releasing the fourth and final ebook very shortly, so stay tuned for that as well. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach your goals. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and everything I share with you today that there are links or information about, I'll make sure that's linked down below for you as well. And lastly, you'll find my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. That's where a lot of this information actually came from. So you definitely want to be in the know in my Facebook group. Let's go ahead and spill the tea or in my case, the sparkling water, all about the new plans. The information for today's video, like I said, came from several different sources. I've had several people that are part of my Facebook group reach out to me and give me information from the plan in other countries like Australia that's already been rolled out. And it sounds like the US programs are going to be very, very similar, if not the exact same as the programs that have rolled out in other countries like Australia. I also coach a client who has been part of the plan rollout for the the last few months and she gave me a little bit of information on what it's been like for her and lastly I took a lot of the inspiration and information from my friend Barrett Pastor I will go ahead and link her channel and the video where she talked about the new plans down below for you as well if you want to go ahead and follow her on YouTube so let's jump in to the 411 the tea about the new plans. It looks like WW has come around to a few very important things, things that I have been concerned with or talking about a lot since transitioning over to cleaner foods as well as to tracking calories to make sure that I'm eating enough. And one thing that they have admitted to or recognized is that the WW plan, if you get the minimum number of points or close to the minimum number of points, you're only eating about 1200 calories a day, which for most adults, that isn't even close to the number of calories that you should be eating every day. Here's a great example for you. My best friend is under five feet tall and she eats 1500 calories a day. So to eat 1200 calories a day, you pretty much need to be a young child, a toddler, certainly not an adult. Weight Watchers has also recognized that macros make a difference. Instead of force feeding us all of their WW prepackaged snacks that even though they say that they've given a spin on, a healthier spin on, they're still full of processed ingredients. And instead of force feeding us those snacks because they're low point, they've realized that the foods that we're eating, the types of foods that we're eating and their macronutrient profile actually make a difference. So what does that mean exactly? That means that WW has the understanding that we need to eat more calories and that we need to take macros into consideration. And that's why they have officially transitioned from my WW to what is called personal points. That has been absolutely confirmed. When I shared the information in my what I eat in a day, I didn't know for sure if it was going to be called personal points or what exactly it was going to be called, but the new program is called personal points. The blue, the green, the purple, all of those plans are going away and it is going to be one plan with the addition of a diabetic plan. Now I don't have a lot of information on the diabetic plan, but my understanding is, is that this plan is designed for individuals who need to watch carbohydrates, sugars, and may or may not be insulin resistant or potentially on the verge of being insulin resistant. So this plan is going to be made up a little bit different. The zero point foods are going to be a little bit different to cater to somebody who needs to watch those particular macronutrients. So the colored plans are gone. The team blue, team purple, team green, 
it's gone. And I'm completely okay with that because I think we should be team getting healthy, team WW, team I'm doing what's best for me instead of blue, green, and purple. And the reality of the three different colored plans is it's confusing for a lot of people. I can't tell you how many comments, DMs, posts in my Facebook group of people saying, well, this built bar is four points on the blue plan, or what is the points for this bag of chips on the purple plan? And the reality of these different colored plans and what made it really confusing for people is that the only difference between blue, green, and purple is the zero point foods. So the built bars, the potato chips, anything that wasn't zero point foods, had the exact same points value across the three plans. The only thing different was the zero point foods. And that was very confusing for people, which I completely understand. And I think WW realized that there was a lot of confusion around that. And maybe that prompted them to eliminate the different colored plans. So what about the questionnaire? What about the assessment that you filled out? Well, as a new member to WW, you are going to still have the option to fill out a very lengthy assessment to really figure out exactly what foods you enjoy, what foods you want to eat, what foods fuel your body and make you feel better. As a current member, we already have the base knowledge of WW, so we're going to have the option to also have an assessment. It's just not going to be as detailed as the new member assessment because we already have the foundation and the basis of what the WW program is. What I like is that we still have the option to take this assessment to help guide us towards choosing the right zero point foods. You heard me right, choosing the right zero point foods for us. That is the most exciting thing. Well, one of the most exciting things about the new program and the new changes is that it's personal to us. We get to choose what zero point foods we want. So my coaching client showed me her app. And like I said, she's been in the test group or the pilot program for several months now. And she showed me the list of her personal zero point foods. So she was able to choose a certain number of foods as zero points. Some were vegetables, some were fruit, some were protein, some were healthy fats. She had the the option to choose her own zero point foods. And as a weight loss and nutrition coach, I really, really, really like this aspect of the new WW program because maybe for me, I don't want potatoes to be zero points because maybe I overeat them or maybe they have too many carbohydrates or they just don't work into my plan. And maybe instead I want avocado to be zero points. I know. Shocking, right? A-V-O-C-A-D-O -O is now potentially zero points for you. Now there is some information out there that avocados are only a zero point option on the diabetic plan. And then there's information that anybody can have avocados be zero points. I will tell you right now that this girl is gonna have avocados be zero points. WW is recognizing how important healthy fats are, especially for individuals who are insulin resistant or need to watch their sugars and their carbohydrates. So I feel like they've listened. I feel like they've listened to all the feedback. I know I have completed several WW surveys and I always say in those surveys, Number one, I want to know the calories. Number two, I want macros to matter. And number three, healthy fats should not be so heavily penalized in points. And I feel like they've listened and they've listened in the aspect of macronutrients as well because fiber is now taken into account when figuring a point. So back in 2003, I joined WW and that was the old school slider program where literally everything counted. There were no zero point foods. Your banana was two points. I loved that program. I loved that it it took into account calories, fiber, fat, protein. It took into account all of those things where they took fiber out of the equation when they introduced smart points. And that leaves people to choose foods that aren't filled with fiber and fiber keeps us full. Fiber keeps us regular. Fiber is very, very, very important in our diet. And in fact, as women, we should be eating 25 grams of fiber every single day. And as men, we should be eating 35 grams of fiber. So the fact that WW is taking fiber into account makes me happy. So my zero point foods will be different from your zero point foods. That will be different from your sister's zero point foods. So that makes it a little bit challenging when it comes to what I eat in a day's and recipes. And this is something 
I've really been thinking a lot about since I heard about personal points and how everybody's going to have different zero point foods. So it's definitely going to make it harder as a YouTuber because when I share points in my grocery hauls, they may be different for you. When I share the points in my recipes, they may be different for you. And maybe when I'm making my breakfast, my avocado is zero points, but yours isn't. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge and I haven't quite figured out how to navigate that yet. I think what's probably going to happen is that we will just be sharing points for us. And in the event that avocado isn't zero points for you, then you would obviously have to add that in to the total points of that meal. But here's the thing, being on a weight loss journey, being on a health journey, you have to have some personal accountability. You can't expect everyone to do everything for you. You actually have to put in the effort and have the personal desire and accountability to reach your goals. And if that means refiguring the points of a recipe to work for you, then that means refiguring the points of a recipe to work for you. If that means that you have to add one extra point for the avocado, then you add that one extra point for avocado. Most of us have the WW app. Most of us have access to digital WW. We can do it on a piece of paper. You may just have to do a little bit of points configuration for yourself. Everybody has the option to have different zero point foods. I personally don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm going to keep sharing as usual. My content will not change. In fact, I plan on bringing you guys even more recipes now that we have macros that take apart, now that we have fiber built in, now that we're really leaning towards choosing healthier whole foods with healthy fats, I definitely plan to bring you even more recipes. So this isn't going to make any difference for me on my channel. And the last change that I wanna briefly talk about is one that I'm not sure how I feel about. I mentioned this in my What I Eat in a Day when I shared some of this information a few weeks ago, and that's been confirmed through my coaching client that's currently doing the new program that you will have the opportunity to not only earn back fit points or exercise points, like we've always had that opportunity, but you will also be able to earn back points from water and vegetables. So you will set yourself a water goal and when you reach that goal, you earn back one point. She said it was only one point. So that makes me feel a little bit better that just because I drink my water, I'm not earning back 10 points. It's simply one point. If I eat vegetables in a meal, I have the opportunity to again, earn back one point. She said that she's only been able to earn one point, which I don't think is really an issue because like I mentioned, we under eat a lot on WW. So the fact that we get an extra point isn't going to derail your weight loss at all. I just don't know how I feel about if you eat a vegetable, you get a point because how many vegetables are people going to be eating every day to get extra points to eat junk? And that's my big concern with that. I understand that WW is trying to reteach healthy habits or teach you healthy habits in eating your vegetables, moving your body, drinking your water. But if you're just using those points that you earn, no matter how minimal those points are for junk food, it's kind of defeating the purpose of making healthier choices. If that makes any sense. So I'm very interested to see how that plays out and how that affects people in their day to day choosing of the foods that they're eating as well as how many points they're earning back for whatever foods they want to eat. So that is the T. That is the 411 on the new WW plan instead of plans that will be rolling out shortly. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the changes? If you're not on WW, does this entice you to maybe come back? If you are on WW, does this entice you to stay? Or if you're on WW, does this entice you to even move closer to just counting calories rather than worrying about tracking your points? Definitely let me know down in the comments. I want to hear your perspective and your thoughts on the new program. Once it officially rolls out, I will do another video where we will go in depth into the program because honestly, things could change before then. Some information, pieces or tidbits that we don't have yet that I'll share in that video as well. So once it rolls out, we'll come out, I'll come out with a whole nother video all about the changes. So I'm excited. I have to say that there are things about the new plan I'm excited about. There's things about the new plan that have me thinking a little bit. I definitely am going to give the new plan a try, but I'm not sure if it's changing enough for my liking, if that makes sense. So definitely stay tuned for my thoughts as the plan rolls out. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you like getting the tea on the new WW programs, 
give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I, down in the description box, you will find Barrett's channel, my Facebook group, so you can come over and join us where we share a lot of day-to-day -day information about the new plans, links, discounts to my favorite things, my eBooks, and nutrition coaching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus Thursday video, and I'll see you tomorrow in my way in. Bye.